Hey, hey, hey guys, happy Saturday. Hope y'all's having a great day. Um, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon right here in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. It's 72 degrees and it is beautiful. I haven't done a live on the castle in a while, so I wanted to do that and I have a couple relatives that are not on Facebook and this is the only way I could get it to them, doing a live and then putting it on YouTube for them. So bear with me, let me show you what we have done in the last month or so. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn it around. And it's hard out here in the sun. So there's the house, the front. We've got the uh, retainer wall in the front matching the house. We've got a bunch of holes dug. Paul's looking for what kind of trees we're gonna put in. And over here to the right is a ditch that we had to di build or dig duh, for Nevada Power and Southwest Gas to come and drop that in. So hopefully that's gonna happen in a couple of weeks and we will have power and gas to the house. We have temporary, but we want we need to get it all hooked up so we can do everything. And I went ahead and turned on all the lights and fixtures that I could. Um, so to make it a little lighter. Oh my gosh, I know something I did. Oops, I'm yakking at myself, not you guys. Okay, if you're jumping on, say hi. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, drop me some hearts if you're loving this and you're following Paul's amazing journey of our house. And I have to be careful not to fall and bust my butt. Let's see, there's the front door. There's that handsome contractor and a couple of friends over there. We're gonna be laying tile again today. We got to get this tile done. So much stuff can't go forward until we do. So there's the front entryway. Let me take off my sunglasses so I can see. Hey, Karen, hey, Diana, hey, Marion. Thanks for jumping on. Just doing a little update of the castle. Look, look at all those lights. And it's so nice and warm today. So off to the left, we're going to Lexi's bedroom. That's just a linen closet or a coat closet as you walk in. Here is a bathroom. No, there's a shower. Nothing else in there yet. That's it for that. Can't really tell much in there. Hey, Barbara, thanks for jumping on. Hey, Nancy, Alyssa, how many square feet? The house is 40. 500 square feet. It is one story, but the center of it is popped out, popped up to 16 feet, I believe. So this is Alexi's room off in the front. Of course, Karen, <laughs> can I still come to live in the pantry? Yes, um, we could even put you in the master bedroom closet. That's a little bit bigger than the pantry. Um, so this is Alexi's room. That setting right there is a vanity that's gonna go into the guest bathroom. So I'll show you that too as well. To the left, there is a little uh, walk-in closet and then the bathroom over there. Those doors right there, I think they're called the uh, farmhouse doors. They're gonna be hung by rails and just slide across there. They're not painted or anything. Our themes are gray, black, silver, that's what HGTV is all telling us to do, right? You know, my husband, he's always on there trying to get the most current updates and stuff. Um, I'll show you this tile just in a second. So this is Lexi's bathroom. It, it does work. We have a toilet in here now. There's the shower. Toilet, and then let me step back in. That's his uh, vanity. Of course, I don't like the sink because I'm too darn, darn short for it, but that's what Lexi wanted, so he got it. But I'm loving the tile. Let me show you this uh, back, what we're gonna use for a backsplash. I don't know if you can, oh, he has some laid out. Let me show you. It is white glass, so that's gonna go up there like that. I can't. I don't know if you can tell it like that, but it'll be a glass white on the backsplash for Lexi's bathroom. I love it. Got it on sale on discount, big discount on Home Depot. A lot of this house is done with Home Depot and Lowe's. 
Oh, Nancy or Karen saying we need our privacy. I'm sh I'll show you that master closet is way far away from our privacy. I promise you, Karen, you get down here. We'll take care of you. Okay, so walking out of Lexi's room. Yes, drop in the comments if you have any questions for me. I'll do my best. If not, Paul's over there so I can ask him. Um, that light's not on. And I gotta be careful because I can't walk on. Oops, I just got yelled at. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cross over opposite Alexi's bedroom. If I can stay off the tile. Some of it is still wet, so I gotta be careful what I'm stepping on. Woo okay, and this is, we're gonna call it a workout room. I guess I'll put my treadmill in here and my, a TV for exercise videos. I hope to get exercising one day. I'm just, I'm busy enough, I don't have to, haven't had to with all the uh, keto lifestyle going on. You don't have to exercise like that, but it's always good for our health in general. So that's just the workout room. And it's in the front side of the house looking out the front window ellie thanks for jumping on thank you hey carol okay let me watch my step i can't step on the tile that's not set yet oop, oop, oop. so i'm going back into the living room or the major area okay and over here to the left my guys thanks for stopping by y'all have a great day okay um, so we're going over here into the office where there's not really in here yet. <laughs> Just a refrigerator for beer and water and some music going on. The tile is going to be consistent throughout the whole house, I think, except for like uh, the bathrooms. Yeah, I think that's it. So you'll see that all throughout. And that's what he's working on right now. Um, this vanity right here, that's the back of it. Let me see if I can get around. This vanity is going to go into that first bathroom we went into. Not Lexi's, but the one before that as you walk into the front door. There's beer and there's Paul's leftover lunch. He had a hamburger. I had some awesome pepper poppers made keto style that I just love, love, love. Okay, and I just walked across. This is the bar. He's gonna build an island in there so you can walk up to or stand up with your drink. That's his bar. How do you like those light fixtures? These ones on the wall right there are Costco. These are Home Depot. There is um, the fireplace at one end of the huge great room. There'll be two pop-out bookshelves right here on both sides of that. And I'll turn and flip that around when we get on the other side. Hey, Tony, thanks for jumping on. Hey, you see me? Okay, I'll flip it around. I first lost my train of thought. So I'm looking at the other way or the opposite way from the fireplace all the way down the main room. So the other side, of course, is the kitchen. See how he's got fans up there? So we have the heating and the air conditioning up top. See that doorway there on both sides? And so that's where the, um, that the air conditioner comes out. And by putting those fans up there, see there's two of them, that will help push the air out even further and just be more efficient. So that's what those are for. He had them on big old chains first and I said no 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 that ain't gonna cut it you better get those chains a little bit smaller so and got the uh, surround sound up there got the security um, system in halfway not hooked on the internet yet but I can watch it through here love those big old windows up there gonna bring a lot of light in I'm noticing a liquid theme going on, Lynn. Ooh, well, <laughs> don't know what to tell you there. They got to have their beer, these workers. Of course, my husband too. Hey, Christina, thanks for jumping on. Thank you so much. So there's the kitchen. 
And right over here to the left is, I call it a butler pantry. That's what we had in our old house. Basically, it's just gonna be some shelves on top of that and uh, like a little desk. I can put my laptop there for uh, recipes and, and my own business, you know, um, cooking and all that fun stuff that I do and my vision board right there in the center I always like that motivational stuff when I get up in the morning there's the kitchen island let's go to this back bedroom before oh, we go any further so this is the guest room so like I said earlier you guys want to come out and visit once we get this up just holler at me I'll see if I can hook you up so this is the guest guest suite if that's what you want to call it it's in the back side of the house lots of windows ceiling fans lights there's the uh, i walk over here there's the uh, rv garage with our trailer inside that's where we've been living at for nine months i'm so ready to get out of there guys i don't know how i can light a fire under my husband's to get it done any faster, but I really can't. You know, he works 40 hours a week outside of town, and we do this, he does this part-time. So going over here, I cannot, I cannot push him. I'm just so grateful that he's able to do all this amazing stuff. This is the bathroom. Um, remember that first uh, vanity I showed you in Alexi's room in the middle that goes in here I don't know if you remember that I hope I pointed at it and there's a shower so what we hope to do is this get this bedroom done first because this is the only bathtub that's like almost ready to go you know just turn the water on and go just put the vanity in the toilet hook it up where the other bathrooms that there's walk-in shower so we'll have to tile all that and that's just the uh, walk-in closet for the guest suite. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn around. Love my backyard. Oh, we got that graded too. I don't know if that was done last time we talked. It's all flat and graded. And um, we'll be eventually putting a pool in. Let's just get the house done first. <laughs> Okay, so hey Paul, Sh Paul Cheryl McMullen, thanks for jumping on and watching. Back into the kitchen. Um, this right here is where, see where it's, there's part of the kitchen and then there's that wall right where on this side of the wall is going to be a sub-zero refrigerator freezer and we're having a really hard time finding one right now. I guess with COVID, uh, a lot of them are being put on hold just because we don't have people. Uh oh, I lost you guys a second. Did you come back? So we do have another refrigerator that we're gonna put in the back that'll work until we can find what we want. You notice those cabinets up there, we're gonna put glass in those. There's the island. Here's a couple of, this on the top one is a, it's a convection and um, microwave together. And this one down here is just the regular oven. Okay, I'm walking around in the kitchen. There's a window that looks off to the side yard over there where the RV trailer is and the, the neighbor. And it'll look out into an enclosed patio too once we get that done. Okay, I wanna show you my other, we got the, uh, what's that called? dishwasher my sinks i love 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 them got the garbage disposal in one hey sherry thanks for jumping on oh and the gas stove i know i can't wait to use this bad boy look at it. it's got like two two ovens in it a smaller one and it's a thor we got a really good deal on this from a, a warehouse so there's the top of it and then there's a griddle in between isn't that nice not having to pull out that griddle every time you want to make pancakes or something it's just right there here's me i have to close things after i open them that's just me ocd lynn that's a pretty cool feature that we had installed you'll put like your spices or your bottles in there and then that'll be a trash or 
slash um, recyclables. I have another one in the uh, coffee bar, so I might do trash in here and recycle in the other one. Let's see, so you've seen all that. Hope I'm not whipping it around too fast for you. Get you dizzy. Hey, Stacy, thanks for jumping on. Thank you, thank you. Got those countertops in. We found some gray with some spots in them, and here's the island. Does that go good together? Both those different countertops? I think so. We have to look at our budget too, so that's one of the reasons we went that way. And then off to the kitchen, behind the kitchen, on the side, garage side, is what I'm gonna call my coffee bar. All the cabinets in there, and Paul did an awesome pop out up there, you know, put some decorative stuff up there. Um, this is where I'm gonna stick that other refrigerator we have now in the garage. So we won't be without. There's another country kitchen sink. He hasn't got the uh, faucet on it yet. There was something here I was gonna show you. Let me see. We got two lazy Susans in here. I love these, can you tell that? We had them in our old house too. I, I love them for spices too. And oh my gosh, I just got so much space. I love, love, love it. Just wait till I do a keto kitchen, guys. Okay, so, and then I'll pop this door open on the side. This is, uh, like I said, this will be an enclosed patio when it's done. Our swamp cooler is going to go clear over past where we're looking, and they're so efficient in Las Vegas. You just turn on your swamp cooler, evaporate it cooler, whatever you call it, and um, open the doors and windows, and just let that all that air go through and it puts moisture in and it's just so much more efficient. I know when we were living in our old neighborhood, um, our neighbors were saying they're having like a thousand dollar electricity bill in the summer. Their houses were older and uh, not as efficient, but we would run like no more than 200 during the summer because of the swamp cooler. And I just love that moisture it puts in the air. Okay, so we're just looking at the opposite side from the kitchen view. You like that shiplap? Of course, none of that's painted yet, but I like it. He put it on the side island. Looking good. Okay, we're gonna walk over here to the, uh, toward the garage. We're getting, like I said, we're getting our security system set up. I have it just where you can see right now, but it's not hooked to the uh, internet. That's kind of cool how we had fun playing with that. Paul running out there and jumping around and I'm me yelling through the doorway. I can see you now. I can see you now. <laughs> this right here is just the uh, pantry right by the kitchen. All that tile that needs to go down. Here's a couple more hanging doors that we're going to put to the uh, laundry room and the pantry. This is right here with all this stuff inside it. That's a little cutout. It's gonna be a little mud room. Just as you walk in from the garage, you can put your purses and your backpack and all that stuff there. And that's the laundry room. Couple of cabinets, almost got that tile in there. Hoping to get that in there soon so we can get the uh, washer and dryer in there and then that gas turned on so we can start washing the uh, clothes at home. I did laundry at the laundromat again yesterday. Oh my goodness, I'm a professional there now. And that's just our uh, garage right off. So I can drive in to the garage and just walk down and hit the uh, mudroom and then the laundry, then the uh, pantry right there, drop off groceries and then go into the kitchen. That's that. So I think that is it. I'm going to walk outside too and show you a few things we got going on there. I appreciate you guys jumping on and saying hi. Hey Janice, thanks for watching. This is a back patio. So this will walk out to the backyard and then of course we'll have the pool right there. Got some great neighbors on the other side of the fence. Ooh, if I don't fall down. So, let me go to the other side and look another view. 
Y'all get outside today if it's as beautiful as it is here in Las Vegas. Say hi, Paul! That's him. He's amazing. He is amazing. So that's the back side of the house. Now we're going to go down the side. And we have super sweet neighbors on both sides of us as well. Do you guys see that? That's a tree house over there. Isn't that amazing? He's got a lot of uh, horse properties. Okay, this is one side of the house. I was going to show you um, this big old trench that we had dug yesterday. Or Paul and another guy rented some kind of breaker tool. And they were down there breaking that up. Took them like four hours. There we go. We're back. I think I'm losing reception out here. Um, oh, we got our, our units put in too. There's one here and there's two on the other side of the house that I'll show you. So um, the dirt is really, really hard here in Las Vegas. So it takes a lot to, to do all that. Got that done. Let's hope I don't fall in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You jump over. No, I think I'll stay on this side. Okay. And look at that big, big hole. So Paul says we got to make sure we give the trees a lot of room and good dirt so they'll grow really well. You guys got any suggestions on what kind of trees we should put in? I think we want fruit trees in the back. We're talking uh, like uh, um, lemons, limes. We talked about pomegranates too and of course figs. I love figs and they grow really well out here. So this is the front side of the house. See where there's uh, dirt in between the, tw the stairs or the steps? We have a friend, Jimmy, he's gonna weld us some planters to put in there. So we're gonna have like black rock on each side and in the front there, and then um, planters in between it. There's the front again, of course. We're just gonna walk around the side. Sorry, it's a long tour, but I wanted to get it all in one because I was telling my my sister, Sissy, and my sister-in-law, Mary, what all is going on? Oh, Sherry's asking, where do you purchase cabinets, pools, and faucets? 90% um, of our stuff is Home Depot or Lowe's. But when we can't find what we want, we just get online. If you want anything specific, Sherry, ask me and I'll pull it up on my computer. So, we got the sprinklers in too, but Paul already broke two of them. See, so we will have some grass and then rocks around that and of course the trees. Here's the side of the house with the two car garage. So I can just drive in, go through the garage, go right to the kitchen, put away groceries and stuff. And we don't know what we're gonna do the side yard yet. I think it'll pretty much stay that way while we still all have all the uh, trailers and dump trucks to be parking. We got the block wall put up there. And I think we're actually gonna paint it gray because I thought it looked kind of out of place with that brown up against the gray. So what do you guys think? Should we paint it gray, dark gray, light gray? I don't know, or maybe the guy next door, he did, he stuccoed his, so, and it's gray. So we'll see what we're gonna do. Love your suggestions. Thank you so much, Betsy. Okay, and so again, right here with the, the block wall, we're gonna put a gate in there, and then we'll have a gate that comes across right here. Our friend Jimmy that's gonna build the uh, planters, he's a welder, so he's gonna build our gate for us. And this is just the side wall, side yard. And this is it looking at the kitchen. Remember I told you we had that patio off from there? So we'll landscape this really nice and put benches and trees and barbecue out here so we can just walk out of the kitchen and get to the barbecue as well here. Um, there goes the airplane, you guys see it? I think I'm used to it loud, though you know what, we were never really, it never was really loud. We're far enough away, it's not really loud. It's kind of cool to come out and watch them. Okay, and then there's the other two air conditioning units right there. Let me ask a couple, answer a couple of y'all's questions. That is the bathroom and then that back 
guest room. And this is just the side of the trailer where our barbecue is going right, right now. That's where we use it right now, our little sitting area. Let me see if I can go in and yell at Lexi, see if he'll say hi. Hey Lexi, say hi. Hello, hello, hello. That's my handsome son on the computer, of course. So that is that. Let me see if I have any questions. If you still have the trailer, I'd have you, Marion. Oops, looks like I'm losing you again. Hey, Cindy, thanks for jumping on. Guys, let me flip it around. Thank you so much for coming on my tour and for supporting me and Paul all this time. It's been a long time, but it's going to be worth it. And I'm just so grateful that we can do this and save money and just enjoy it. So i just make everything a lot more easier. <clears throat> Excuse me so much. So that's it, guys. Have a happy Saturday. Get out there. Enjoy this beautiful day. I love you. I appreciate you. Trying to get some good view. You guys are amazing. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, 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 guys. I forgot to show you the master suite. I am a true blonde, I promise you. Let's finish this up real quick. Okay, so let's go back in on the kitchen side. Let me flip the camera around again. So we're coming in through the kitchen, through the coffee bar, through the kitchen. I can't believe I did that. Yes, I can. That's me. If you know me, you know I would do that. So we're going back in through the uh, great room into the master suite. Looks like my husband came through and already turning off the lights for me. So there's the master suite. It's like two part. We got a little sitting area right here. Turn on those lights. Check out this electric, electric fireplace. That's kind of cool and you can change colors on that. I know how. There we go, you see, well, that's kind of cool. And it does put out heat, it's pretty, and it does put out heat. So I'm just walking around the little <laughs> divider between the master and the uh, sleeping area. Here's the sleeping area. And then that's gonna look all the way through to the master bedroom, and then the closet. Um, that's what you were sharing, was saying, uh, Karen, if you pop back on, uh, I was gonna show you that master <laughs> uh, closet. So that's, that's again the uh, living master suite. Popping on lights everywhere I can see them. This right here is the toilet and bidet room. This will be a shower, walk-in shower. You put a bench in there. And then right there is, see so there's the shower with a bench. And then this one right here is another, this is just the, uh, a little linen closet. Little linen closet. Um, and then we're in the, the master bath. There we go, so I got it back up. So we're going into the master bathroom. So that's the bathroom and off to the left, there'll be two vanities and between the van vanity will be a freestanding tub, which we haven't found what we liked yet. But in the, um, Sitting on the floor here are two of the vanities that we got. They're shiny black. I think those are gonna be really, really nice. And they don't sit on the floor. They'll be like uh, hanging on the wall with, you know what, four to six inches underneath it, if not more, Paul knows all that. It keeps knocking me off. And then here's the master bedroom closet. Those are actually just, uh, Kitchen cabinets, we put it together. Paul will find a big old nice piece of granite slab and put on top of that. And then we'll put uh, closets or hanging closets and drawers all the way around that. Let me get that light. There we go, there we go. Well, that turned out really nice. A lot of light in here. Hey Pam, thanks for watching. Hey Joni, thanks for watching. This is just really brief because I did a live earlier and I forgot to go to the master suite. So there's this. So if you want to see the first part of it, just scroll back up. So that is it, guys. Do you hear my echo in here? Woo! 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 Uh, and so that's just looking from the master bedroom closet through the kit through the kitchen, yeah. Through the master bath, through to the sleeping area. So again. I appreciate you guys jumping on. Again, I'm a true blonde, aren't I? Y'all have a great day. Go out and enjoy that sunshine. Love you. Bye-bye.